Hey everybody, welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor and Bill and Ted are finally facing the music. Uh, it's a little sad, but also very exciting. They finally announced the release date, a new trailer, a new poster, and I would advise if you haven't yet watched the trailer, don't. It does, it, it made me smile, it was great, but it did show a lot of the movie. So I'm going to walk you through enough to not spoil it, but to get you excited and to tell you why I think Bill and Ted could save the movies in 2020. Let's get to it. So first up, let's look at this glorious new poster. Uh, it's just so fun to see the phone booth back, to see them both in there, to see Keanu Reeves back smiling with Alex Winter. I mean, back in that, it's just, it's just fun. I'm excited to it. I like a Samara Weaving. I, I like that the daughter's in this uh, and, as the phone booth alludes, we get to see up oh, deaths back as well as some other people in a phone booth. What could that mean? Again, I don't want to spoil it. I don't want to spoil it. Let's just watch it. Uh, everything I see points to this being a lot of fun, a nice family, fun, positive movie. Let's be excellent to each other. I don't want to rip this movie apart at all. I mean, look, even if the movie's disappointing, I still, I can just sense it's got a joy to it that I am looking forward to. Uh, and I applaud it. Again, I don't want to get through the play the whole trailer. Plus, they don't usually like us playing these trailers. I don't know why the Bill and Ted people always ding us for copyright strikes, but really funny bit where they're at a couple's therapy. And do you think this is the good way to be in couples? And they're there with Bill and Ted and their significant others. Just shows sort of their lot in life. Uh, the trailer, uh, it's just very cute to see them together. Uh, and it goes in to reveal the pressure that they're under of needing to write the song. That's sort of what we've always known, and that's the plot point they revealed in the first trailer uh, that they have till tonight to finally deliver the song to solve the, the problems of the universe. So they decide to go back into the future, to go into the future, to meet their future selves, to learn the song so they can just go do it. And that's the sort of time issues are going to have but it seems like they also will be traveling to hell uh it's a to, to all over it, it's clear they are moving around in this movie uh and it's clear there is a phone booth that's used uh which i thought was an interest for those of you who watched it without spoiling it i could see some people might be annoyed by that but i thought it was a clever okay that's a f clever way of what they're going to do there with the with how they use the phone booth and maybe other historical figures uh so i'm looking forward to it. i don't i don't really want to know more i'm it was it was a little much to show me but it's clear that there's gonna be more that we're gonna learn as we see this movie but i just i feel a joy from it and if you go and follow ed solomon who's one of the writers on the movie uh who's been around forever this is a movie they've been trying to get for so long for so long uh, and he shared this, uh, we're gonna talk about the release date and everything in a second, but he shared this, uh, since I'm in the mood, here's my, one of my loveliest memories from the last day of shooting, Alex and Keanu's rap gift, a leather bound copy of the final script, which is so classy. Look how cool this is. And they got this made as it, le and it, uh, he showed off sort of the little note. Uh, and I, I saw this and I just, I loved it. I loved it because it just shows, uh, what a road it's been. Love you, man. We, d we done, done, done it. Alex Winter uh, and Keanu. Uh, it is uh, this is a special. I can't. Re I read it before. Uh, he just talks about how great he is. He finally gets to write this on this page. Thank you, thank you, uh, that we finally are here doing this. Both of them have been trying to get this movie for so long, uh, but it's clear that there's so much love and joy for finally getting to have this final chapter to this franchise. Uh, and look, I love Bill Bogus Journey. Don't get me wrong, but it's it's weird. It was a weird one. Uh, weird in good ways, but also just like I, I wanted. It was nice. To, it'd be nice to get one more chapter in this since it became a unlikely franchise uh, to take it back to its roots to see them as in their older life as we can all relate now as we all get older what happens when you have that pressure of i've got to perform i've got to mean something in the world i got to deliver and and leave a legacy we all i think feel that way in one and some for that it's our kids or the work we've done or you know the charity we've done uh and so to have that pressure mounting all these years of oh crap we actually never got to do the song i think it's a great take i'm excited for it it looks like they really are taking this seriously they've been working on this for decades and the fact that they they got this done and the fact that they got it done thank god they got it shot and done before all this chaos happened now what happens with the movie what's what does this entail? Are we going to see this in theaters? They could have delayed this for another year, but I'm so glad they aren't. While I'm disappointed, it seems like it may not be in a huge theatrical run. They are making it clear. They're going out there and saying, look, we are releasing this uh, September 1st on On Demand and also any theaters that will show it. Uh, and you know what? What's the best you can do? It's the best you can do. They've delayed it a little bit longer. It was supposed to come out in mid-August, but now it's going to come out September 1st. I think that'll be a big release on VOD and if it's in theaters 
I do think some people will go celebrate. I, I think by September there will be, excuse me, drive-ins or other independent theaters that are open that are going to be grateful to have Bill and Ted out. And I'm sure do social distancing, masks, etc., for people to watch it. Uh, would you go? Would you rather? I would much rather see it in the theater with a crowd and have that joyful experience. I don't know. TBD. Let's see how things go. We got a little bit more time to see how the world is in September, but I, I cannot wait to watch this with my kids. This feels like it's going to be a fun family movie. Uh, also, they're doing a Comic-Con panel this Saturday. I've been watching this Comic-Con. It's so confused. It all feels like it's just IGN sponsored. I don't understand. Why would I want to just sponsor IGN's thing? I don't know. Uh, but they're going to do a panel on J- July 25th, probably the most sensical one since now they actually have a movie to release uh, to sort of put it out there. Uh, but I'm happy and been and stoked to promote this movie. We had William Sadler on the channel thank you again Bill such a fantastic conversation where we talked about how much fun he had on this set of Bill and Ted Face the Music Uh, I'll link that to that interview at the end you should check it out Uh, so I'm going to be pressing this movie as much as I can I'm a huge supporter of this movie a lot of people try to say I'm always just not looking to not looking forward to movies anymore but it's been a tough summer we haven't gotten anything this is one I've been waiting for this is was on my list of the whole year of I can't wait to see this it just feels like this could be really fun a lot of a very sweet sweet and worthy movie. So I'm excited. Uh, while I wish this could be, you know, back in theaters with all of you, we all enjoy it. I- I'm excited. They're just committing. They're saying, you know what? This is what we're doing. If any of you theaters want it, you can have it. If you don't want it, so be it. We're planning for VOD. We're just, we got it. We've been holding on to this movie. We've been waiting decades to make this movie. We need to share this movie with the world. And honestly, is this a movie that needs the IMAX big screen? No, I don't think so. This is a movie you could watch at home on a big, on your big TV with the sound up and enjoy it with your family there. Uh, but would it have been nice to watch with a crowd? Absolutely. But I, it just this isn't like Tenet or Wonder Woman, I don't think. And I, do you think I'm am I wrong there? I, I don't mean that as a knock at the movie. I'm just saying this feels like a movie. All right, I could see this. I've watched maybe it's because I've watched Bill and Ted at home more than I've watched it on the big screen. I forget how much fun this could be. And to be fair, to look at the visuals of it, which I, I again, I don't want to spoil it for you, but there's some so- shots of hell and stuff. It looks good. The effects look good. The time travel uh, tubes look good. Uh, the cast looks good. It, overall, I, I got to give this high marks. Uh, I like the daughters. Um, I'm into that. I think it's it's a cool idea to see these uh, dads just trying to bumble through. And I, and I, to, to wrap up, there was one more thing I wanted to share. I love because this this moment to me, it's, I was about to tweet it myself as a meme. But uh, they see the daughters uh, in hell. Uh, and, uh, uh, this, well, you know, how you doing? Dead and we're in hell. How you doing? Uh, Keanu Reeves asks, how you, t- oh, they, they hug and they, they go, how you doing? How you well, doing? well, you know, we're dead and we're in hell. Uh, hell. but how you doing? But how you doing? We're we're good. Good. <laughs> I mean, if nothing sums up 2020, it's that. I feel like we've had, I've had that conversation with multiple people. <laughs> It's like, how you doing? Well, you know, we're kind of in hell right now. People are dying. I can't leave my house. Uh, but how you doing? I'm good. <laughs> it, it sums up the whole. That I love how loving these dads are. It's nice to see them as dads. Uh, I love Keanu Reeves. Who doesn't? I love that Alex Winter gets to come back and do this. Uh, it's just so nice to see them. Clearly, like brothers have been supporting each other this whole time to get this movie made, and now they here they are. I had the pleasure, I, I got to meet Alex Winter. He directed the Smosh movie. I remember visiting him on set, talking to him about it. Such a nice dude. He's been doing a lot of directing other works, and people try to, like, oh, if Alex is, must be so stoked to be working it. No, he's been working. He's been doing a lot. Uh, but it's, it's got to feel good to sort of break back into this, this role and have such a prominent starring part next to one of the biggest movie stars ever who's cool enough to come back and be like, yeah, let's do this, because this wouldn't have worked without him. Keanu could have said no. But he brought he came back because he's he's loyal to his his friends. It's so rare in these days. Everyone's so not disloyal and ready to stab you in the front when they can. So it's so sweet to see them not doing that. They're here. They're having fun. They're ready to be excellent to each other. That is a message we need. We need that more than ever right now to be excellent to each other. Uh, so I cannot wait to see this movie. I'm loving it. I love what I see. Don't watch the trailer. Avoid it if you can because there's more uh, fun in store. If you don't, I think uh, you'll be surprised. Let's go on. This 
this excellent journey together. Let's get ready to face the music September 1st. You bet your butt I'll be reviewing it here as soon as I'm able to to tell you what, how, what, to, what to expect. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to click all these other things here. Subscribe. Uh, check out our William Sadler interview. I'll make sure to put that one right here. Uh, fantastic man. So grateful he came and gave us some time and talked about his whole career because he's a legend. Uh, hopefully more to come. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Bye, everybody.